No, o... ah. Eu acho que aqui é Batel, ou é Batel, ou é Mercedes, é na divisa. Win, Win Hotel, é um hotel. Boa sorte aí, Bel, no oh. seu tratamento. Jai Satidana. Hmm, everyone, Jai Satidana. Jai Satidana. Jai Satidana, Michele, Denis, Bernard, Elvani, Maria de Gloria, Lercio, and Sujata. Jai Satidana, Sujata. And Tony, very good. <clears throat> very good. All right. <clears throat> Let us begin uh, with our Trimantra, let me see. Here. Vamos começar com o nosso Trimantra. Uh, thank you, Dennis, for your translating. Wonderful. Uh, let us begin our Trimantra with Larsio. Hmm? Larsio? Okay. Good. Let's call you along. Namu caro, 
Yes, wonderful. Thank you. Yes. Muito Even... bom, maravilhoso. Mm -hmm. Obrigado. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um... Just reading if on on thirteenth July nineteen seventy. Before we go into our regular session, which I, uh, you know, just like to share a few sentences of Dada to give you the light live effect. <clears throat> On 13th July 1970, Dada was in Mumbai, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, okay. Mm -hmm. Em julho de 1970, 13 de julho, antes dele começar a nossa satsang, ele quer passar para nós algumas frases que o Dada falou quando ele estava em Mumbai. Ok, go ahead, please. And the other said that is, you know, in those days, in 1970, there were huge tape recorders, you know, like if you want to record something, you have to carry almost a big radio-like thing. And then you put in a cassette and then, you know, you record hmm? uh, the conversation or the music or whatever was going on. So, Dada Shri is now saying that whenever, he, he, and, and before the days of those big tape recorders, people didn't even know that you could record human voice or, uh, you know, speech. Hmm? Before they were invented, nobody knew anything about recording speech or Or, or voice or song, right? <clears throat> ok, então o Dada estava dizendo que antigamente haviam grandes gravadores e para transportá-los era realmente um trabalho. Tinha que pôr talvez em cassete e depois record... fazer a gravação. E o Dada estava dizendo que antes desta época em que existiam tape recorders ou gravadores, as pessoas nem sabiam que era possível gravar as pessoas falando ou mesmo música. So Dada Shri says, having seen a tape recorder, having uh, known what a tape recorder is, having experienced a tape recording, um, These lawyers, and that, there were a bunch of lawyers around Dada, you know, who were Mahatma. So Dada just says, these lawyers should actually know, uh, should actually know that what we speak, you see, that also is a taped record, you see. Hmm? Então, o... Ele estava dizendo que depois que ele viu o tape, um gravador e sabendo e tendo a experiência com isso, e como havia Mahatmas que eram advogados, eles também deveriam saber que tudo que nós falamos é realmente uma gravação que está se desenvolvendo. Even this human speech that is being spoken is a Taped record. It is a tape record. Hmm? Mesmo a conversa que está sendo falada pelo humano é uma gravação. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, but Dada Shri says nobody can understand that. You see, people don't feel that way. They just think that they just they just think that whatever. I am speaking, I am speaking, you see, whatever uh, our dear Dennis is speaking, that Dennis is speaking, they 
do not or whatever you know what i as michelle is speaking I, that is i am speaking you see and uh, they don't see that it is a taped record you see mm -hmm. okay então o dada dizia que ninguém sabia que qualquer coisa que estava sendo falada se era o o Shuda, se era ele, se era o Denis que estava falando, se era a Michele que estava falando, que não eram eles que estavam falando, e sim era uma, uma gravação que estava uhum. sendo. Uhum. Mas é como like taped record means. We don't say tape record. Uh, we say taped record. It taped means uh somebody has spoken, and then, you know, say, okay, I, I got you, but I, I got, I... I received what you said. Now I can play it over and over again, you see. And so now I've got it. I've taped your speech, you see. I have taped your speech. So taped means it's an effect, taped. It is not, we're not saying the taping is going on, the recording is going on, you see. Hmm? Ele está dizendo que que ó, quando você está falando, não é que a gravação está sendo feita, e sim que já foi gravado e que agora está soltando, né? Está sendo... Uhum. E pode se repetir quantas vezes quiser também. Não um tem, né? And so that, except for Dada, who discovered this, he said, nobody really recognizes that... This human speech, too, is a taped record. It is. That's exactly how it is. It's a taped record. Right now, what um, Dennis or Shuda are speaking, it's a taped record. You see, it is an effect. If the, and, you know, Dennis and I both know that what, whatever is coming out is in fact happening, you see, it is happening. Uh, I, in the process of delivering, in, in the process of the speech coming out, it might, I or Dennis, the Amapuras inside, are simply the knowers of whether the right speech came out. I am translating Dada's words in Gujarati, Dennis is translating English to Portuguese. So we are both knowers of uh, wh whether uh, the right thing has happened. Shirley is taking, you know, is translating what I write in the chat into uh, Portuguese. She, all three of us are really knowers and that Uh, and on ours of whether uh, the right words have come out or, you know, or the right, where the right translation has been as it is, you know, see, none of us, neither Shirley nor Dennis nor Shuda will, are becoming owners of these words. We are, I am speaking is to become an owner. I spoke something good. I spoke something not so good. Hmm? You know, that, you know, it's it's going to come out the way it was taped. It is a very high level of awareness, you see? Hmm? Ok, então, essa, com essa ação de dada que descobriu que a conversa humana, né? É apenas alguma coisa que já foi gravada. Na verdade, é um efeito. E o Shuda que está traduzindo do Gujarati para o inglês, eu que estou traduzindo do inglês para o português, nós ambos sabemos que o que está saindo é o que está acontecendo no processo de entregar essa, essa fala que está saindo. Nós, como almas puras, dentro... Nós sabemos que nós estamos traduzindo que nós somos os observadores, os conhecedores, assim como a. Deixa eu ver uma coisa aqui. Yeah, it, you know, it's just. Essa, 
Just uh, uh, Chile, that's also uh, que também está tra traduzindo o que ele está falando no chat. Todos nós sabemos se ficamos os proprietários daquilo que está sendo dito, mas na verdade nós uhum. sabemos que é alguma coisa que já foi gravada e que é um, uma coisa de um nível muito alto essa percepção, essa observação que nós fazemos disso. The only difference, my friends. The main critical difference my, uh, between us Mahatmas and those, uh, the rest of the world, is that they and they believe and they see whatever is happening is through their bodies as they are as if they are the knowers of it. I this is I'm speaking. I spoke good. He insulted me. I spoke the wrong words, and the Gnani's awareness is that these words, whether in satsang or outside, are simply happening. You see, these are all happening. Hmm? É, então, a única diferença, meus amigos, de nós Mahatmas e do restante do mundo, é que eles acreditam que qualquer coisa que esteja ocorrendo está sendo feito por meio deles, pelo corpo deles e vem deles. Então eles dizem, ah, essas minhas palavras foram bonitas e tudo mais, quando na verdade nós sabemos que não é assim que funciona. Yes. And and so this uh, this final awareness that all speech, whether it is file ones, whether it is shudas or whether it is Nidis or Heraldos or Larcios. You see, this it, it's a taped record. It's a taped record. Um, and, and that awareness absolutely puts you in the pristinely pure vision of the self uh, in which there are no flaws. There is the flawless vision is there. You know, everything when you say it's a tape, tape record, it's all over. There's nothing to say. It's a tape record. Hmm. Hmm? Então, esse, essa percepção, essa consciência final, se é o arquivo 1 do Shuda ou de quem quer que seja, é sempre uma coisa que já foi gravada. Então, essa percepção, essa consciência disso, põe a visão pura do, do self, do ser, e nós sabemos que, como isso já foi gravado, não existe falhas, não existe, não existe nenhum tipo de Bem, de falha, né? a visão impecável que a pessoa deve ter sobre qualquer coisa que é dita. Yes, yes, Michele. Uhum. Ah, Michele, pode falar. Suda, tudo então que nós falamos, tudo que nós pensamos, já foi falado e já foi pensado? Uh, she's asking if everything that we we spoke or thought it has already happened before this uh, moment. Is that right? The, okay, uh, can you uh, clarify this a little bit more? Uh, and even, even, see there are, uh, Michelle, what happens is, what is, The speech that is visible, in other words, now it's audible here, people can hear what you say, is the, is the result of a very deep uh, process. It's a, it's a very deep, uh, it's, it's, it's before even the words come out, there is, it's happening inside. They're gathering if all the, <laughs> the machinery is, ready to produce it, you see. So uh, even that is 
an effect. Either even even that is an effect. Some people, some persons remain very silent, not say anything, but there's a lot of speech going on inside them. It has not yet come out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go on. Yeah. Okay. O que acontece é que a conversa é audível para as pessoas que podem escutar o que você está dizendo. E que isto é um resultado de um processo bastante profundo. Então, antes das palavras saírem, todas elas são juntadas no interior dessa máquina e acaba sendo colocado para fora. Uh, Shuda, just a question. What happens, I mean, what, what we say is gathered just before we say, or it was already no. in the previous life? It was programmed, and then when the circumstances are right, when the circumstances arise, space, time, matter, and intention, you see, Nimit, the other person, when all of them are ready, then the speech comes out. But you know, it, uh, <clears throat> you know, the person may want to say as, as something very, you know, very nicely, but if something happens to his throat, he cannot speak. You see, so there are so many evidences. So the circumstances, when they are right, the speech comes out. But so, Shuddhas or Tennis or Michel is is only one of the evidence. You see, I'm here, my here, you know. To believe that I spoke means to take total control over all you know, total um, ownership of everything else. I spoke, I spoke. Well, you don't <laughs> you know, you you know. If this, if all of us were not here, the satsang will not happen. You know, these words of Dada's will not be shared. You see, so evidences are coming together for the speech to arise. But so there is, of course, the visible nimit, which is now Dennis or Shud or Michelle. These are the visible nimits, but. Even as all of you are listening, there is a lot of such some speech inside that is now uh, becoming part of the attention, you see. Not anything else right now, see. Hmm? You know, now we are talking about the science of speech in Akram Vignan or, you know, in our, uh, our view. Who am I? Eoso Amapura. Now what is happening to this? What's this speech? What is this speech that is coming out? Hmm? Sorry, that was a long one, but I know you can, <laughs> yeah. Hand, yeah, can handle it. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Então, ele está dizendo que quando as circunstâncias chegam, então é tempo, espaço, amadurecimento, a intenção, a conversa sai, porque ela foi programada. Hmm. Então, muitas vezes, as pessoas querem dizer palavras bonitas, né? Mas se tiver algum problema na garganta da pessoa, ele não consegue falar. Então, está faltando uma das evidências. Uhum. E quando a pessoa acredita que ela falou por ela própria, ela está tornando proprietária de tudo. Né? Ela acha que foi ela que falou. Ah, eu falei isso. Então, não. Quando as palavras vêm juntas, existem limites visíveis, né? como o Shuda, eu... Uh, e outros, e tem também aqueles que não estão falando, mas como estão ouvindo as palavras que estão sendo ditas internamente, estão processando isto. Então, dentro de cada um, deve ter bastante, eu diria, uh, esse trabalho né, com, com o que está sendo dito. Yeah. You see, the evidences, evidences trigger speech and evidences uh, create a lot of disturbance with via speech with via, via speech means through the medium of speech you see 
Ah, ele está dizendo que as evidências são gatilho, não engatilham ou levam a conversa e, obviamente, que as evidências também criam bastante coisas, né? Que até problemas muitas vezes. Yeah. Uh, I I'm reminded of one of these evidence. You know, it was just it was you know you know today if something very big happened in the history of the Congress of the United States, you see, uh, the Republicans kind of. imploded imp imploded they self destructed themselves you see mm -hmm. uh, and the entire house republicans uh, they could not save the speakership of uh, the speaker of the house you see uh, <clears throat> the majority could not save him If, uh, you know he was thrown out now uh, You know, it's a lot of politics. I don't want to enter into it. I just want to give you one incident in terms of evidences, you see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because you're not familiar with American politics, so I'm not going to bore you with the details, okay? Mm. Yeah, but anyhow, I, I read a lot. From yeah, the good, 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 What's good. Happened? Well, yeah, yeah, they, uh, yeah, they lost. You know, one person started a... You know, he started a motion to dismiss the Speaker of the House, you see. And all he needed was six votes, six more votes. And because of the balance between the Democrats and the Republicans, because the Republicans do not have a majority in the House, Even though they have a majority, they have they have a very slim majority. So they need for any to get anything done, they need the help of the Democrats. But the way things have been going since Trump came in, everything has been very disturbed. Then nothing significant gets accomplished at the government level, which you, I'm sure, I know that you know. Hmm? Então ele estava dizendo que ele queria trazer a bala uma das evidências. uma coisa muito grande aconteceu no Congresso dos Estados Unidos, em que os republicanos implodiram ou se autodestruíram e eles não conseguiram salvar o aquele é uma posição política do aquele que fala na na é o Speaker of the House, I don't know what is the translation. Speaker of the House is the number one, and number three. position of power in the US. Number one is president, number two is vice president, and number three is the speaker of the house, you see, of the Congress, you see? So oh, okay. th that's a number three position. And whichever party has the majority in the house, they elect a speaker of the house, you see? So before it was Nancy Pelosi, And then up until a few hours ago, it was uh, Kevin McCarthy, you see? so. You know, uh, because é o, é o, uh -huh. é o porta-voz, Denis. É como se ele fosse porta-voz da Casa Branca. É, para mim me parece mais como se fosse um aquele chefe do, do, do Senado, alguma coisa assim, porque ele disse que o número um é o presidente, o número dois é o vice-presidente, o número três é este indivíduo, uh -huh. que era Nancy Pelosi, depois entrou esse Kevin uh -huh. aí. E... So Como a, essa distribuição, quem escolhe o, esse indivíduo é aquele partido que tem o maior número de, de deputados, vamos chamar assim. Então, qualquer coisa que queiram fazer, os republicanos eles precisam da ajuda dos democratas. Então, ele precisava de seis votos adicionais. Então, ele conseguiu fazer uma... moção para se livrar desse desse indivíduo. Yeah, so yeah, so there's almost so anyway, sorry. yeah, sorry, go, you know, uh, so what happened here is the speaker of the house which is a very powerful position because he controls what is discussed 
what bills come in uh, to come to the attention of the government for the government to execute those things, you see, to, you know, how much money goes here, this, that, et cetera, see, in general. Um, he controls the agenda. That is what I'm trying to say. He is very powerful, right? He, yeah. he, and under him, there are almost uh, 200 congressmen, you see, you know. Hmm? Yeah. Então, eu diria que realmente fica mais próximo a este, ao Pacheco aqui no Brasil, porque ele que escolhe a agenda que vai ser discutida, ele que faz uma série de decisões e tem embaixo dele todos aqueles, vamos chamar assim dos senadores, ou então se for se o outro seria os deputados, e ele é que estabelece o que vai ser discutido. Então... So... So the Speaker of the House really needed the votes of his own party, you know, and there were about four or five, uh, you know, uh, rebellious people who wanted to oust him, to get rid of him. So he wanted these votes. So as he was entering the chamber for the counting of the votes, he, one of the men, one of the Republican, one of his own party people, you know, his congressman, uh, said openly later on, you know, after the voting was over, in which he did not get the votes to remain the Speaker of the House, okay? One of them said openly that as I was entering the chamber to vote, you see, and it was a very serious vote, you see, which has not happened in the last 115 years in the history of this U.S., you see, uh, he the speaker told him something just said something that in this man uh this congressman felt insulted about just at the last moment he was going to vote for him but just hearing that insult changed his vote you see it made a difference you see he you know in other words see how speech can change so much simple words can create simple words can create wars you know one or two sentences in this world of ours by powerful people can motivate create wars create enemies that do not were not enemies before etc the speech therefore is a is a very very strong weapon which can be used to liberate human beings through like Kavartada, or it can just create so much destruction and havoc, you know. Hmm? Então, ele estava dizendo que um dos republicanos, partido dele, desse speaker, né? Ele disse depois de votar, ele falou para todo mundo que quando ele estava entrando lá para votar, este speaker falou alguma coisa para ele, coisa que nunca não tinha acontecido nos últimos 115 anos disse uma coisa na, que ele se sentiu insultado. E no momento que ele se sentiu insultado, ele resolveu votar para retirar este speaker. Então, o, o Shuda está mostrando que como as palavras podem, ou as sentenças podem criar guerras, inimigos que antes não eram inimigos. Então, realmente, as palavras têm muita força. Precisa ser utilizado com muito cuidado. Yes, you know, from all over, every, you know, so. You, uh, these, the speech that comes out, a human speech, your speech, my speech, is before it comes out, it gets modified by, it gets, it's continuously happening under the, machine of mind, intellect, chit, ego. <laughs> If the ego gets involved, the wrong words come out, see. The ego was hurt. Ego of the congressman was hurt just before the vote, and he changed his vote, you see. Uh, uh, this is uh, interesting because what he was saying, even though it was programmed, what I was going to say, 
this uh, speech was modified by, by the intellect, by the ego, and etc. Is that right? Did I That's correct, that? because, you know, even that same congressman, afterwards he talks to the TV uh, media camera saying, I changed, I voted, because I was going to vote for him, but he says, you know, he insulted me. And so he changed it. He said, you know, every, you know he, he changed his vote. Uh, now, he said that openly, you know, but the point is. Let me translate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Então, a, a fala que sai para fora, óbvio que tem que sair para fora, né? Antes de dela sair, ela é continuamente modificada pela nossa máquina, pelo intelecto, pelo ego, principalmente, né? E isso aconteceu. E eu perguntei para ele, ué, mas apesar de ter sido programado, o que eu estou dizendo, isto que que eu deveria dizer que foi programado, ele é modificado a cada instante pelo meu intelecto, pelo meu ego, etc. Ele disse que sim. And, uh, yeah, you see? Um, so, recognize, for you and I, you know, at this level, you know, and the entire world country is talking about a lot of things that happened right now. Right now, we do not have a government. Technically, we do not have a government in the United States. Tony will uh, confirm that, you see. We do not have somebody to run the government, you see. The president cannot run the, uh, the Congress, and uh, the vice president cannot do anything about it. The speaker has been thrown out. And so, you know, this has never happened in the history of the United States. It happened once, 115 years ago, or maybe longer than that. But the man, you know, they, they did not throw him out. So the government continued to run. Right now, this country does not have a government for all legal and technical purposes. There is no United States government right now. <laughs> You see? É. Hum? Então, para eu e você reconhecermos que não existe nesse momento nos Estados Unidos um governo, alguém que possa uh, levar adiante o governo, que o presidente não consegue conduzir o Congresso, e isso nunca aconteceu, ele falou nos últimos 115 anos ou até mais, e que quando isso ocorreu, o, esse primeiro não sei o que ele continuou no, no cargo, mas aqui não aqui simplesmente puseram ele para fora e não tem ninguém para colocar no lugar uh, Shuda, there is no one to, to replace him at this moment no, you know, the party will have the Republican party will have to nominate somebody, you see and then they'll have to vote on it and for the next few days they go, they go, as long as they're working on it you know Things will go on, but not a single bill gets paid. Nobody is in charge of the Congress right now, you see. Hmm? Nothing dizendo, can happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perguntei para ele se não ia ser colocado alguém no lugar deste sujeito. Mm -hmm. Ele disse que os republicanos eles vão escolher alguma pessoa, mas durante este processo que eles estão passando, mm -hmm. nenhuma conta vai ser paga, nada vai ser feito. Então, na verdade... Tá sendo a, a coisa fica meio parada. Yeah, if you if you really want to know the ego plays, okay, and the various kinds of deceit and deception that goes on with egos, all you have to do is to watch your own government, <laughs> you know, and see what's happening in any politics. You see, for us, what we were talking about speech. You see, and uh, let us go now to our dear Michelle because we have she has been waiting. You know, then we'll come back, uh, Tony. Hmm? Okay, Michelle, você pode falar e depois se ele continuar ele vai falar sobre política e etc, etc. E na a ideia nós falamos sobre a nossa fala. Então, Michelle, por favor, vá em frente com a sua pergunta. Hmm. E, e, e... Yes, Michelle. Shelly. Uh, she's maybe she's away from her because 
She is not moving uh, or not responding. We'll come, come back when she comes back. Yeah, okay. So, yes, it gets modified, the speech words that come out. Really, actually, they're coming out under the... Uh, through the antakaran, you know, the, you know the, what is going on inside is actually <clears throat> reacting, is also programmed, you know. <laughs> and so it gets programmed, it gets programmed and can change at the last minute because the ego got involved in it. You know, I just gave you an example. The ego felt insulted and he says, the hell with the other person, you see. And... Hey, uh, so it's saying that... Uhum. Aquela fala que sai atra, por meio do Antacarã também foi programada, só que pode ser modificada no momento, no último momento, né? Uhum. Pelo, o, pelo ego. Então, essa é uma possibilidade. Yeah. Uh, should I, I was not aware that this could happen, so even though I have good words to say, when it comes things that are not very nice. It's because my ego. Made well, a move. it is. Yeah, it is. It is because the discharge, uh, antakaran, the mind, intellect, chit, and ego are still there, and they're dying, but they're programmed. You know. So, even if you do not want to say something uh, hurtful to anyone, it still happens, does it not? For it happens to all of us. You know, we do not want to. Uh, come out with words that you know early morning we say I don't want to hurt anybody through my speech yes né? and yet it happens <coughs> é, ele está dizendo que uh -huh. que mesmo que as palavras você não queira falar coisas ruins tanto que pela manhã muitas vezes você faz aquele voto de não machucar ninguém pela sua palavra e tudo mais mas acaba acontecendo porque como existe ainda a sua mente, seu intelecto e tudo mais, essa programação ela acaba saindo. You know, it, it, what does it mean? Even you don't want to say it, but it still comes out hurtful. Answer: taped record. <laughs> That's how it was taped. Now you'll say, well, it got modified by the ego. Well, but you know, you are not part of the ego. You are, you are not the ego. Yes, you were the ego uh, before the Gnanvidi. Now you are moving away from it. You have you have actually moved away completely from the ego. Denis says discharge ego. Shuddha's discharge ego. Michelle's discharge ego is totally separate from Amapura. Who I am? Who am I in it? You see, and so. The beauty. Então, uh -huh. Sorry. Uh -huh. yeah. Você tinha, você gravou isso aí na época que você não tinha feito o Gnavidi. Então, o ego de descarga do Shuda, do Denis, da Chile, ainda continua descarregando. Então, mesmo que você não queira, como uma pura, falar coisas que vão machucar as pessoas o teu ego de descarga ainda faz com que isso ocorra. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, uh, this, you know, it's interesting. It, by the way, it's very interesting connection. This, I, along with you, I'm reading these words for the first time. This what I gave you about the uh, tape record and the experience of the tape record and uh, also what uh, the other speaks next which I have already the sentence I've given you about uh, there are infinite kinds of knowledge infinite kind of knowledge and there is infinite kind of Avaran. Avaran means veils, veils over that, you know. So in other words, this knowledge, uh, it gets veil. Veil means that the person himself, the owner of that knowledge is not 
not aware of what's going on, does not really know what's going on, you see. And then on top of that, because of infinite veils over infinite knowledge, I'm the other is speaking about the whole world, not us, okay? There are infinite doubts. So we have a seven billion population. You can imagine everybody has his own doubts, you know, and everybody machines are running. <laughs> uh, and they believe this machine, I, it's my machine. I am thinking, I am doing, I like this person, I hate this person, you see, or what, you know, just goes on and on with this, this world of ours, you know. Hmm? Ok. O, ele estava dizendo que ele achou uma conexão interessante, que aquilo que ele estava lendo, aquelas palavras, elas foram lidas pela primeira vez por ele, sobre este, este gravador. E também... Ele estava vendo que a, o que o Dada dizia depois, no, no texto que ele estava lendo, ele dizia que existiam infinitas tipos de conhecimento. Uhum. E Mich there are lots of... Doubts. Tem... People have early é. people without... People who are not awakened have all kinds of doubts, right? And suspicions, right? Mm. Yeah. Uhum. Então, tem aqueles proprietários daquele conhecimento que não tem a mínima ideia do que está ocorrendo e existem também como consequência dúvidas infinitas afinal de contas nós temos 7 bilhões de, de pessoas né, em nossa população então vocês podem me imaginar quantas dúvidas existem quantas suspeitas e então muitas vezes a pessoa odeia alguém, odeia o outro e é assim que a coisa vai andando no nosso mundo Mm -hmm. Yeah. Understanding, yeah, uh, understanding this taped record, <laughs> understanding the, uh, we understand the machine tape recorders, you know, like, yeah. Uh, If the president says something, the whole world or the country knows about it, you know. They catch every word of his, right? And then they all the TV stations play it, etc., etc. So we understand understanding the machine, we understand the physical machine that produces, replicates that sound. And the awakened one, the one who is aware, one who is now separated from this body, mind, and speech, you see, he begins to realize he or she, you know, there is, there is no he and she there, but the one who has says, the one who see, one who is the Amapura, is so Amapura, uh, is, is in a position to understand that this speech that comes out, which is sometimes very painful, you see, to others, is also not under his control. Why? Because he is separate from it. It is not. I, if I say, if I, if I say, I didn't say these things, I cannot say these things, that's wrong. Uh, my, my level is, I am aware that this kind of speech came out through Shuddha or Tony or Dennis, after it comes out, we have, we, we are in the process of becoming the pure knowers only. So, so that's where we, this is how we rise by being aware of what is being spoken without becoming owners of that. In other words, oh, why did I do this? Why did I hurt her? Why did I say these things? I shouldn't have said them. That is not the approach of Dada in Akram Vignan, you see? You know? Ok, então... 
entendendo esta, este gravador mecânico, nós começamos a entender também como é que funciona esse gravador dentro do ser humano, né? Então, por exemplo, se o presidente fala alguma coisa e todo mundo grava e, e logo isso fica de conhecimento público, todo mundo sabe o que foi falado e tal. Então, entendendo essa, esse gravador, a gente entende também como é que funciona esse gravador humano que re, replica né, o som e aquele que é acordado, né, o awake no one, que é separado da sua mente, corpo e fala, começa a entender que a alma pura está numa posição de entender que aquela coisa, aquele, aquela conversa que está saindo e que muitas vezes pode ser até dolorida para outras pessoas, não está sob seu controle, está separado da alma é. pura. Então, o meu nível de, de percepção de que esse tipo de, de conversa sai do chuda, sai do tone, porque nós estamos num processo de nos tornarmos conscientes. Nós não somos os donos do que está sendo falado. Não é a forma como o Dada ensinava para as pessoas. Sim, yeah, eles... Um... It just these lines, you know, these are just two lines that grab our attention. What is the connection? You see, and that, you know, Dada attacks, of course, Dada's solution to these infinite doubts that arise in human beings all over the world, you know, doubts. Uh, they arise because a doubt will continue to arise within every human being until he attains the Amapura, until he becomes free, you see. Until he comes into Amapura, there is always doubts and doubts and worries and, you know, questions and questions. This Amapura space is like yours and mine, is the only way, only place where there are no doubts. You see, no doubts. Hmm? É, então, essas linhas que ele estava lendo, duas linhas, elas nos prenderam a atenção. Então, isso aí com a, se conecta com a solução que o Dada deu para as infinitas dúvidas dos seres humanos que elas continuam surgindo. Uhum. E todo ser humano, ele continua uh, com essas dúvidas, preocupações e tudo mais, até a época, uh, é, o dia que ele obtiver a alma pura. Aí sim ele vai se tornar livre. Então, antes disso, sempre vai ter dúvidas, preocupações, e a alma pura é o único local onde isto não existe. Mm. You know, there is, there is human beings whose speech you want to continue to listen and continue to listen. I mean, in the relative world too, you find, you like to listen to that person speaking, you see. Uh, mm. And of course, in satsang, We continue to, we love the words of our Gnani Purush, you see, Dada, that uh, that increases our awareness of the beauty of what is happening. You see, what is happening is increasing awareness of Amapura, who am I? And Sure, but definite movement away from whatever is happening in this world. You know, you're 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 getting more and more in a state where you are less interested in what is going on here. You do not you think it's it's just happening. It's just a tape record. 
These are all formed complexes of bodies, some fighting each other, some hurting each other, you see. Hmm? Então, eu ouço aquela pessoa falando, às vezes eu gosto né, do que, que algumas pessoas falam, e nós, em satsang, nós amamos as palavras que o Gnani Purush, que isso ajuda a aumentar a nossa percepção, a nossa consciência, essa beleza, né, dessa, essa beleza da alma pura. E... É um momento que nós estamos longe do que está acontecendo neste mundo. Então, nós estamos nos dirigindo para um local onde nós não nos conectamos mais com esses aspectos mundanos, e sim com esses aspectos maiores. Então, você sabe, eu estava intrigado por o que, inicialmente, nosso Uh, Michelle said, I couldn't quite catch it. What she was saying, something, but she triggered this entire satsang here on the subtle speech and what's going on about speech and, uh, you know, everything that we have spoken, you know, in the last one hour here. Uh, é, então, uh, Michelle está uh -huh. dizendo que aquelas suas perguntas iniciais, elas nos levaram para um passeio de uma hora conversando sobre aspectos muito interessantes, mas ainda assim ele gostaria de entender. Eu acho que eu traduzi mal a sua pergunta, então se você pudesse fazer novamente, e nada acontece por acaso, tá? Então, se você puder perguntar, no, seria bom. Não problema, não problema, não problema. Say it in English, maybe it's better. Não, 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 não. não. Je peux parler en français? Hein? Yes, Je peux parler en français. Ah, je suis. Tout ce que nous. Parle en français. Eh? Ah, non, tu, tu comprends. Ajuda. Tout ce que, tout que nous parlons, tout ce que nous pensons, já foi falado ou já foi pensado? Everything okay. that we talk, everything that we think. It has already been thought by someone. No. Por quem? Who? Onde? Onde? Where? Por quem? Where? By whom? E, e... Então, então nós somos marionetes. As coisas ruins também? So we are puppets. <laughs> yes, yes, marionettes. Yes, puppets. Yes, correct. Um... This is what the Ada says, uh, Michelle. This is the, this is, this, and they will continue to be marionettes until they, until they come to realize two things. Who am I and what's going on in front of me? You know, what is this? What is, understand what is going on in front of me? This, you know. What's happening to Michelle, to Shudha, to Shirley? What is happening? You see, and exactness when these two are are seen, then uh, your role, you know, you are not under the influence of some other energy. You see, yeah, the marionettes dissolves, goes away. You see. And dissolves, and all you're left with is the world as you and I see it, and you are no longer dancing in it. You are the pure, blissful seer and knower of this now. You see, you're not dancing with the world, you know. You know. É, então, está dizendo que, que duas coisas que você e eu, nós olhamos o que está ocorrendo em nossa frente, então nós percebemos o que está acontecendo para Chile, para Chuda, para Michele, e quando isto é visto, você não está mais sob a influência de outras energias, você deixa de ser aquela marionete, então você começa a 
ficar sob o domínio da alma pura. Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh... Uh, you see, uh, the the one who is dancing is really completely involved in the dance. You see, uh, you know, happy, sad, dancing. You see, uh, religious, you know, thinking of God, not thinking of God, hurting people, not hurting people, etc. All of that is programmed. You see, it's all of that is programmed. The only thing that is not programmed is and can never be programmed is is that process of liberation. You see, that process of liberation, uh, the uh, coming in, coming home, that is not programmed. It uh coming home to soyamapura or soyamapura that is that is the grace that that is the pure grace and then it's over you know and then it's over hmm? Hmm? it's what it's it's okay. over then it is over ah it's over okay <laughs> yeah então tá dizendo que aquele que tá dançando uma marionete, né? Está completamente envolvida na, na dança, às vezes está triste, às vezes está feliz, às vezes fica pensando em coisas religiosas, às vezes ele machuca pessoas, às vezes não, e tudo isso está programado. O que não pode ser programado é o processo de liberação, ou seja, a volta para casa não está programada para a alma pura, que é a graça da Realmente é uma graça pura de voltar da alma pura. Lá não existe programação para isso. Yeah, I, I... Então, nós estamos falando de uma grande parte da população, estamos falando em Matrix, então. Está todo mundo seguindo, no, todo mundo normal, todo mundo normal, normal, vivendo a vida normal. Dentro da Matrix. Então, se você não desperta, você está na marionete. Yeah, she's saying that uh, so we live in the Matrix. And uh, that means in your normal life or normal life of human beings, they are kept or they keep themselves inside the Matrix and uh, they are not awakened to what's going on. So they are never released. They continue to be The puppets that mm -hmm. are controlled. Yes. The other has called them spinning, spinning toys, bummerdo, you see? Bummerdo. Uh, and the bummerdo, uh, spinning toy, is kind of, is, it spins, it spins until it falls down and stays down, right? It spins, you see, it is, but the exact Spinning toy is such that even as it is spinning in this direction. Pedro de corda, será? Não é o peão, aquilo que você puxa assim ele fica girando. Yeah, yeah. If, the, what is not seen in this uh, spinning or the the marionettes is that every spin is associated with a, another winding <laughs> of the. Of the invisible, uh, row, you know, string around it, which throws you into the next life. You see, in other words, there is charge and discharge. You see, but, but every oh. yeah, there's a charging again of this spinning toy. You see, uh, which we don't yeah. see yeah, because and the spinning, uh, the new charging is by the belief. Oh, see, I'm I'm dancing. I'm doing this. This is happening to me. I'm happy. I'm sad. You know. Uh... Ele está dizendo que este peão, que ele vai se desenrolando, e ao mesmo tempo que ele está desenrolando, ele está enrolando outra linha invisível que vai levar ele para a próxima vida, e enquanto ele vai estar tá sentindo uh, felicidade, tristeza, etc., etc., ainda preso neste mundo. Yeah. And, uh, and, and the... 
new spinning and the new charging is there is nobody else doing it there is no external energy that makes you charge it it the charging is simply the ownership this i am sure that i am michelle this is happening to me these are my people you know i and my you know and it just continues there is no god over you or no no special entity that throws you back into it you yourself are <laughs> are continuing hey, just... the continuing the drama and the and the, and the Uh, dizendo, in the spinning, yeah, sorry. Uh-huh. Mm. Está dizendo que este este peão que vai enrolando não tem nenhum Deus, nenhuma entidade superior que está fazendo isso para te jogar para a próxima vida. É você mesmo que está fazendo isso. E por quê? Porque você se considera o fazedor ou a fazedora, né? Então você tem a propriedade do que é feito. Eu sou Denis, eu, eu sou não sei quem, e isto vai levando a este novo rebobinamento deste peão. Uh, so, you see, uh, you know... I, want, I mm -hmm. want to return in my home. What is she saying? She wants to return I to her home. Wants to, to, to return. Her home of poor. Return. Return, return, return. Well, you know, you have never gone out. Yeah, you, you Michelle, this is Michelle's discharge. This you have entered the Amapura the day you became the Amapura. And you said after becoming the Amapura, you have been saying it was so Amapura. So there is no way you You, you you are actually going out. This is all the discharging uh, dance of Michelle. That's all. Hmm? Então, Michelle, se, se não tem possibilidade, porque você sempre esteve dentro disso da alma pura depois que você, você entrou na alma pura. Então, ao, tudo que está acontecendo é uma descarga de karma da Michelle, né? Hmm. Yeah. Mas It's... você, como alma pura, não tem mais este problema. Yeah, Veja se separada. Yeah. As, as you receive and absorb, hold, receive, hold, and absorb these words of Dada, you, you only rise higher in this awareness and experience of Swamapura, eu sou uma pura, um shuddha atma chu, um shuddha atma chu, you see? There is, it's just, it's becoming more amapura, more home, more and more home experience. And I understand what you said, I want that, you know, I want more experience, more experience. Hmm? Então, à medida que você recebe, segura e absorve as palavras do Dada, você simplesmente vai mais alto em tornar-se alma pura. Então, cada vez mais indo para essa sua residência que você quer, esse alma, estado de alma pura mesmo. Quando você vê Michele como uma marionete, como um puppet, e... You know, moving about in this world, doing different things. When you get to see that, when you come to see that, you are in the exact experience of who you really are. You know, which, you know that is what ultimately is going to happen. You know, she gets up in the morning, she does all her various things in the home, then she goes out to do shopping, this, that. Maybe, you know, she will spend some time on Facebook, you know, and read something. But, you know, everything is the activity of this formed, programmed complex called Michelle, Shirley, Tony, Larcio, etc. See? Hmm? Então, Michelle, quando você se vê como uma marionete, por exemplo, quando você acorda pela manhã e e decide 
ir para o shopping, para ficar um pouquinho no Facebook e tudo mais, você, observando isso, você sabe realmente quem você é. E, e você também, com esta percepção, essa consciência, você vai dizer, não, isso aí é a marionete da Michele. Está descarregando isso aí. E essa percepção que você tem é que é muito importante. Yeah. All right. So now, you know, and since this is very interesting satsang going on, and since I am also learning new with you, I will continue on this one because, you know, there is, <laughs> frankly, this is the first time I'm reading some of this stuff, you see. And being reading with you, there are some new things coming out. So let me continue to share with you. Now, you know, this, uh, the next part, and it is Kaviraj is coming in. So Kaviraj, our famous singer who used to sing for those, you know, songs of Akram Vignan sitting next to the other. Uh, just what... a second. Mm -hmm. uh, it's important to translate. Mm -hmm. Ele está dizendo que ele está vindo nesta satsang para uma, realmente, tema muito interessante, porque ele disse, foi a primeira vez que ele está vendo, e isso e essa discussão conosco está sendo bastante uh, Vai, produtiva. E aí, ele vai continuar lendo o que está pela frente. E ele vai falar sobre este cantor aí. And go ahead, please. And so, you see, he... The other talked about the tape recorder. He Then he talked about the uh, infinite kinds of knowledge. Now, all of a sudden, in you know, it must have been a very serious satsang going on, but suddenly, I don't know whether he... He, you know, see, sometimes, and our, um, Deepak Bhai also, he used to tell me in the old days, some beautiful satsang was going on and somebody asked a question and the link of Dada's talk is broken. You see, in other words, what Dada would have talked more about tape record <laughs> Dada is diverted because somebody asked another question, and so Dada has to now attend to this question, you see. So I, anyway, so he, Kaviraj asks, Dada, Dada, what is the difference between Icha or desire and Bhav? Uh, you know, he's asking that in 1970, that's interesting. You know, he, he's, he's asking that to Dada, what is the difference between desire and Bhav? Now, Bow. Yeah, go on. So then, Dad, let me, I will share Dada's answer. Tá, então, o Dada, numa, de repente, numa satsang muito séria que estava sendo feita, alguém uh, decide fazer uma pergunta para ele. E, e, de repente, como, por exemplo, ele pede o fio da meada daquilo que ele estava dizendo, só para responder o que foi perguntado. Então, esse Kavrid, ele perguntou para o Dada qual era a diferença entre Baal e desejo. Yeah, Baal has different meanings, different connotations, but here Dada's answer kind of gives a different, you know, he will tell us what's going on here. So, let, I will let Dada answer, ok? Mm -hmm. Ok. E vai so, deixar Dada responder as palavras que ele vai ler agora. Uh, and you see, the other she says, there is this cotton lying here. There's a freshly picked cotton that has been wrapped up and it's lying here. And if you take a matchstick and you put a matchstick to this cotton, mm -hmm. é, tá dizendo que um algodão é que foi colhido nesse momento e de repente ele pega um, um palito de fósforo e é correto isso. And if you if you if you light it and it burns, right? Um, uh, then it is called desire. Now just reflect upon this sentence. This is an amazing sentence. <laughs> então se de repente ele pega esse palito de fósforo e põe fogo no algodão, isto aí é desejo. 
Né? Stick to it. É importante para refletir sobre isto. Uh, burn it. It is called. It is called. Desire. Desire. Okay, it's called desire. All right. So now the other defines desire. I've never seen this answer. Okay. So now I'm I'm kind of now sharing with you uh, openly about it. All right. This answer is that, that you know because where the other was going on, there probably is you know people you know. I will, uh, are trading cotton or whatever. He says, you take a matchstick and you light this uh, big bale of cotton and burn it. That's called desire. All right? Então, o Dada, e o Shuda reafirma mais uma vez que ele está lendo isso aí conosco, né? É a primeira vez que ele vê. Mas aí o Dada explicando que é um grande fardo de algodão e se você pega um palito de fósforo e queima, isso é chamado de desejo. Esse é... The desire continues until it is fulfilled, you see? Uh, and it, it fulfilled means, so, you know, uh, 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 until... until Until the desire, the desire Yasudi ich so puri na tha ityasudi sadagya kare ichha jyasudi. The desire will continue to burn, continue to burn. Let, let me give it to you exactly. Continue to burn until until it is finished. You see. Is finished. This is how Dada defines desire. Então, Dada definia desire, quer dizer, desejo, que é uma coisa que continua até o momento que, que ele, vai, no caso do algodão, ele queima até que termine, até que se esgote. Então, é contínuo. Queimou, acabou, aí tudo bem. Ok, então... So... Now, the other she says, to burn anything, to burn. Because he gave the example of the cotton and the burning. He now he says, to burn this, uh, burn it, is called desire. Without a desire, you will not burn it, right? So to burn it, it's called desire. If it doesn't light up into a fire, your desire will remain inside you. In other words, Either it's going to burn like a flame, or if it didn't burn like a flame, that desire will remain inside you, you see? Hmm? Okay, então, ele está dizendo que se sem o desejo, isto, se você não, não fizer, não for queimar, se não pega fogo, então esse desejo vai permanecer dentro de você. If it doesn't burn, if it doesn't, does not burn, if it does not burn, Se não queima, you know, if it does not é. burn, it will remain inside you. Então, se não queima, vai permanecer dentro de você. So, you see, desire is like a fire, you see? Now, now I'm coming, to, you know, to the explanation part of it. In other words, it says, any desire is like a fire, you see? It's it's like like lighting a fire, you know, like lighting a fire. It may burn. It may, in other words, it may give you. It may manifest into your desire coming into effect, or it may. If it doesn't burn, if the desire is not fulfilled, the fulfillment of the desire is light the fire, and until it's over. You know, it keeps burning, right? Until the until it's over, it'll keep burning. Until the all the cotton has been burnt, it will continue to burn, right? Hmm? É, o desejo é como fogo. Hmm. Então, qualquer desejo é como fogo, como acender um, um fogo e pode queimar ou talvez 
se manifesta em um efeito e se o desejo não é não é fulfilled, não é bem ele continua queimando e the other Shri says with us with us what it is like we do not even have a matchstick forget about lighting anything we do not even have a matchstick you see we do not even have a matchbox so what about you know we, there's no matchbox for us inside this is the state of dada uh, yeah uh, okay uh, yes coming to verbenia in a minute okay yeah então o dada dizia ó oh, nós não temos nem uma um palito de fósforo então nós como é que vamos queimar né então isso é o estado do dada Yeah, well, okay, so uh, we're still proceeding, but let's just quickly uh, take a look at what Verbenia has to say. Verbenia? Verbenia pode falar. Aham, uh aham. -huh. Uh -huh. é, eu gostaria de perguntar, é, partindo do princípio do, do desejo, e aí, assim, se o desejo ele está des desvinculado ou vinculado à descarga kármica? Porque tudo na descarga de karma do relativo, então o desejo é uma descarga do karma ou ele está desvinculado ao... ao, ao... Okay. A... ok. Entendeu, né, Denis? Eu creio que sim. She's <risos> asking... Foi confuso <risos> para mim. She's asking if uh, the desire is connected to the to the discharging karma. Yes. Yes, there are correct. There are two. You see, there is a there is a sunrise desire and a sunset desire. <laughs> é, existe um um alvorecer, um desejo do alvorecer e um desejo do escurecer, mas está conectado com com a descarga kármica, assim. Yes, you're right. It's an effect uh, for us. You see, it is. It is a, not a new desire. It is not. It's a sunset desire. It and it is. It belongs to Urbania, Shuddha, Verna. You see, it. It is not a sunrise. It is not a charge desire. You see, it is not desire that. So we understand. Sometimes you or I want something, you know, and it continues to remain inside us. We don't know when it'll come out, but the only way we know that it's over is when it's over. And it's over for Virginia, Barbinia or Shuddha. It's not it's got nothing to do with Amapura. You see, Amapura continues to know whether that desire was fulfilled or not. You see, desires. Sometimes we want to say something or help someone, but You know, um, é, então and, este é um mm -hmm. desejo do, do escurecer, né? Uh, ele não pertence, não é um desejo que, que você quer agora, é um desejo que, se quando tiver, ele vai estar dentro de você, mas é alguma coisa que já vem. Você não está criando esse novo desejo. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 you're right. Because exactly, Dada says, Ukti ichane atham That means that and that desire that is rising like this morning sun, you see, that is charge desire. That charge desire. That's what's happening to human beings outside, you know. Yeah. Other non-Mahatma human beings in Brazil, whenever they say something, they want it badly or they hate it, you know, something, whatever. They just, that is their, I want it, I don't want it. Both are desires, but they are... <clears throat> é, ele está mostrando que uh -huh. as pessoas uh, comuns, o, o desejo que vem surgindo é uma carga que a pessoa pode tanto não querer como querer, mas de desejar ou odiar, é alguma coisa está sendo carregada. Mas isso acontece 
para as pessoas que não têm ainda esta percepção da separação. Yeah, the, the, she says the binding desire. The binding desire means it creates a new desire for, you know, that desire, if it is not fulfilled in this life. Ele está dizendo que um, esse desejo que está surgindo, se não for atendido nesta vida, claro que você vai passar para outra, né? It comes, it comes as an effect in the next life, you see. Ah. Oh. You know, in, in this life, you badly want a huge, big mansion, you see. <laughs> Your home is fine now, but, you know, you you want something é. big, you see. So now, if it doesn't happen in this life, it's coming in the next life. <laughs> é, então, se você tem sua casa aí, mas não está satisfeita, você quer uma mansão, e se caso isto não se concretize nessa vida, certamente este desejo vai continuar na próxima vida. Uh, the desire that is rising like the sun's rise, you see? O it, desejo the, que surge como o sol está surgindo, né? It not only it binds you, it, it imprisons you, but it also burns inside, you see? It keeps burning you inside, you know? In other words, it's... Uh, you see, whereas now that the answer comes, exact answer to... What is the difference between desire and bow? I so uh, just uh, just let me translate uh -huh, this part. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Então ele está mostrando que aquele desejo que nasce como se nasce o sol e ele ele realmente além de aprisionar a pessoa enquanto ele não for atingido vai continuar queimando dentro de você. And any desire, you know, the, the desire, somebody wants to become big in the eyes of people, politicians, somebody wants a lot of money, somebody wants, you know, every, you know, somebody wants this, sex. Okay, so until it is fulfilled, it born, it binds you, it binds you. It's like handcuffing you, you see? You're handcuffed. And and uh, and not only you're handcuffed, but it burns in it burns you inside. It does you're not free now. The desire is a fire that has started inside, you see, it's a fire that has started inside. Hmm? And so o, por exemplo, o desejo de se tornar importante aos olhos de outras pessoas, de políticos, tudo mais, nada mais é do que você está se algemando com isto. E, uh -huh. e não apenas continua queimando, você não é livre agora. Então, esse desejo, ele te aprisionou. Sim. Yeah. Dada says... Shuddhatma, Amapura, has no bow. There is no bow in Amapura. Então, Dada diz que não existe este bow na Amapura. Amapura. Mamapu, Amapura means, you know, it's very subtle. This is like, at a subtle level, you want something, and that is happening to not the Amapura, But the one who believes I am this body, it's called Pratishthit Atma. You know, you know, the last life, you believed I am this body, so now you got this body in this life, and you believe I am this body, and that is the one who keeps on having these intentions, and that, so this bow belongs to Pratishthit Atma, or the belief Amapura, belief Ama, not Amapura, Belief ama, ama. Belief ama means I am this body, you see? Mm -hmm. é, então ele está dizendo que, o Dada diz né, que, que a alma pura é uma coisa muito sutil. E às vezes você quer alguma coisa que está acontecendo para o pratisha body, para o corpo, né? Mm. Que você acredita que você... É aquele corpo e continua esta, esta crença na próxima vida. Então, você, 
você nasce e continua acreditando que você é aquilo. Aquela... Eu acho que Dennis, o protesto Atma é o peão, é o toy. Eu acho que o protesto Atma é o toy. Então, não, em fato, é... In the protested atma, the word protested atma means uh, it's charge atma. You know, there are, you know, in other words, you know, to believe I am this body, that means I am this body, I am this body. Every morning you take a bath, oh, I, what a nice body I have or whatever, you know. And so you are constantly giving your energies to this body. You are doing pratishtha, you know, like you're, you're energizing this body, you know, and that happens in ignorance, you see. And so in ignorance, they believe I am this body, you see. That's called pratish, the body that has now been energized by the belief of the soul. The soul does not know who am I, but you see, so it keeps on saying, my body, my body, I'm strong, I've got to do this, I've got to do this, etc. So that's called the Pratishtha Atma. For us, you, it is now discharge Pratishtha Atma. In other words, that which was charged, that which was energized in the last life is now discharging, you see? It's, it's you know, é que aquilo que você energizou na vida passada, nesta, está saindo. E você, uh, certamente, se ficar se envolvendo com o seu corpo, achando que você é o corpo, que corpo bonito e tudo mais, quando você vai tomar banho, você continua dando energia para esta este corpo. Então, você se confunde com ele, fica envolvido. Mas, normalmente, quando você... Você já se liberou, isso aí é uma coisa que vai descarregando só. É, yeah, you see, this discharge patisthit atma, and the uh, discharging, otherwise known as file one, ok? Separate. É conhecido é, como, como arquivo 1. Um. Yeah, this file one, you and I know that file one has bows, in other words, it has got this intention or this intention, this subtle, you know, it's. É, nós sabemos que o arquivo 1 ele tem esse ou aquele desejo ainda. Ah. Ah. So, you say bhav, bhav, the word bhav is connected to the mind, you see. So there is a, the, we say, oh, the intention is having this effect, this intention in the mind is the charge, called charge, bhav, but correction, really the intent, the, that is not called bhavman. Bhavman means bhavman and dravyaman. See, there are two types of man, bhav, and then there is dravya. Man, okay. There are two types of Bauman. Bauman is simply to, in simple words, I am Tony. By God, I am Tony. Nobody can change me. I will do this and I will do that. So, but actually, the belief that I am Tony, and that is the charge mind. You see, I'm Tony. That belief has been totally shattered, broken. With the advent and the uh, arising of who am I? I saw my pura. So now what is left is the discharging mind, discharge. The charge is blocked completely. So what is left is what's happening inside Tony, his intentions to do this and not do this, etc., etc. See? So uh, it's... Okay, go on. It's very subtle, the dis distinction between desire and intention, you see. Both are at the level of file one, you see, for us. Not here, and not in Amapura. Hmm? É, estamos dizendo que existe uma diferença sutil entre bal e desejo, que ambos são da alma pura, e este bal está conectado com a mente. 
a intenção, é, a mente e o bal de carga, o bal man and man. Por uhum. exemplo, se eu acredito que eu sou o Tony, o... É, mas na verdade este, este, esta crença foi quebrada. Eu sei que eu sou alma pura. Então o que, que ficou realmente a intenção de fazer isso, fazer aquilo, que é a descarga, né? Yeah, you know, in simple terms, you know, you and I are aware of all the desires that are there inside while one. Good ones, not so good ones, etc. And also, we are aware of the intentions. I want to do Pratikraman, I want to do Charanvidhi. We are aware of those intentions. You say, bhav. I, but both, one is a bhav that I want to, I would like to have it this way. And the other one is a desire. Desire is much worse. Desire means... You know, and we understand this magnificent example of the Dada say taking the matchbox and lighting. And you and I know when there is cotton, a, a huge bale of cotton, all you need is a matchstick and the whole thing will burn in no time, right? And you see, so that burning, you know, you applying the matchstick will burn it, you see, and that's called desire, you see. That's desire now, and... Now let me translate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Em termos simples, nós estamos conscientes dos desejos que estão dentro do arquivo 1, podem ser aqueles desejos bons ou desejos ruins, mas principalmente as intenções por exemplo, eu quero fazer praticamã e tudo mais. E normalmente o bal é uma coisa aceitável, o desejo é uma coisa um pouco mais grosseira, a gente podia dizer assim, né? E conforme ele deu o exemplo, com um parito de fósforo, você põe fogo num fardo de algodão. Yeah, Dada Shri also adds in this, in this satsang, he says. Uh, you know, for you and I to desire, if even for Dada to have, you know, a desire for some food, you know, well, yeah, even that desire, and you sometimes, you know, you and I have desire for food, we want to sleep, we want to, you know, we'd like to have something nice, whatever, all of it is sunset desire, it's, it's, is going away, it is decreasing. It is, you know, it's not going to create a new body, in other words. No matter how intense it may be in this church, no matter how bad it may be in this life, you see, it is discharging and therefore it it's it's all going to go away. It's all going to discharge. It's all going to come out through the exhaust pipe, you know. Whatever is in the engine is going to come out, you see. You understand? Uh, so discharge, understanding discharge is very, very critical, you know. <clears throat> então, o Dada também dizia que o desejo, como nós pudemos ter, por uma comida ou por dormir ou alguma coisa, na verdade, é uma coisa decrescente. Não vai criar um novo corpo, independente do tamanho desse, desse karma de descarga que nós estamos passando por ele. Porque isso aí é aquele karma que está indo embora, como se o, céu tivesse, o sol estivesse se pondo. Yeah, it is uh, it's going deeper. <laughs> All right, we have some time. So, um, um, so just remember, Amapura never has any bows. Amapura does not have desire, okay? Amapura is Amapura, pure. What is happening is in the discharge phase right now. So whatever you... Bow, you see, whatever intentions you see, 
you are if i want to go to some other city it's an intention or i want to do pratikraman it's an intention whatever you intentions you have these are all discharging but they're called bhav because you want to you know because you want because for you it is bhav but it is discharging bhav you know in other words today you will say oh i want to go to some other city you know Five months later, you'll say, no, I don't want to go. These are all discharging things. You and Dhammapura continues to know this, see this, you see. That is who you are. You're not the owner of the bow. Oh, you know, somebody will tell you, Tony, you couldn't go to the similar city because your bow was not very strong. <laughs> you, you've heard that before, right? <laughs> uh, you know, okay. It's right. Go on. Então ele está dizendo que que isso está ficando cada vez mais profunda essa essa conversa e nós temos que nos lembrar apenas que a alma pura não tem bal, não tem desejo. O que está acontecendo é uma fase de descarga, como por exemplo a intenção para ir para Simanda City, por exemplo. É uma coisa que está descarregando. E, então, a gente chama isso de balde de descarga. E ele deu o exemplo, como muitas vezes fala, ó, oh, Tony, você não vai para Simanda City porque o teu balde não é forte o suficiente. Ele deve ter ouvido isso, né, Tony? Sim. Yes. Uh, e dravya. Dravya means visible effect, you see? Hmm? Hum. É, dravia significa efeito visível. Visível efeito, você. So, bhau, a dravia man, there are two types of man, ok? Two types of man, you see? You know? É, então, dravia e... e são Is dois... this effect, effect man, you see? Então, two efeito. Man, you see? There is a bhau man, which is the charging mind, and then... Uh, because the charging mind made an intention, you see, then the result will be a discharging mind, you see. Hmm? Então, a mente Bal que fez uma... que carregou isso aí, depois vai descarregar. That is, yeah, no... that... Really speaking, Dada now clarifies, really speaking, uh, bhav man, charge man, means pratishthit atma. Charge mind means, actually charge mind, charging of the mind means, it is called pratishthit atma. In other words, the one who believes, I am Kayo, I am Shirley, that one is now continuing to charge. See, it is continuing to charge. That is called charging mind. Or really, the Pratishtit Atma means you just energize this body called Kayo, saying, I am Kayo. I am Shirley. You understand? That is now you... In, you know, we all know Par Pran Pratishta, like, you know, you sit in front of the statue of, in the idol of Lord Simandar and uh, all the Mahatmas and the Gnani just keeps on putting their energy into, oh, you know, before it was just a piece of marble, now say, wow, this is God, the Simandar Swami, you know. Everybody is doing Pratishta, everybody is energizing that piece of stone. Well, from morning till evening, you... And I, when we were ignorant, we were not aware, we were saying, we were energizing this body. <laughs> this one that was discharging, we were saying, I am Dennis, I am Tony, you know, I am good, I am a good doctor, I I don't like this. We were continuing to energize this one, you see. So, so no, that is no. called charging, you know, by, by saying that we were charging, that's called bhav man, you see. É, então ele falou do Pratishtita 
Atma, que quando você energiza você ou energiza qualquer coisa, você está carregando. E, e ele deu o exemplo lá de em Simanda City, quando todo mundo, os Mahatmas, o próprio Dada, ele, ele faz este carregamento de energia, né? E se você fizer sobre você, achar que eu sou o Denis, e ficar energizando, é claro que você vai estar carregando uma carga que vai precisar ser descarregada algum dia. Yeah, you see, in, in ignorance, this is the ignorance, you know? The ignorance, yeah. Yeah, I know. I mean, ignorance is that darkness is removed by the grace of Dada. You're not Dennis, you're not Kayo. I'm not Kayo, I'm not Dennis, I am pure soul, you see. And this body, what is it? Then it is now the discharging Pratishthitatma. You know, before it was charged Pratishthitatma, before it had Bhavman. Now it is only Dravyaman. Now it has got only the discharging mind the mind is discharging whether it is filled with a lot of holy things or whether it has got evil things inside it is of the mind only you see mm. okay então essa ignorância é uma escuridão e que graças à graça do dada hoje eu não sou denis você não é caio e este corpo é o pratiste que está descarregando Dravyaman, a mente de descarga, seja coisas santas ou coisas uh, diabólicas, mas é apenas descarga. Yeah, and then that she says, now what is seen today is discharge, and it's the same thing, it, that discharge is also the same for the entire world, including the non-Mahatmas, the only difference is for them, the charging is going on. You understand? For us, there is no charging. For us, it is just only a discharge. Hmm? Everybody então, understands that. Hmm? Hmm. Então, pelo que é visto hoje, tudo que é visto é descarga. A diferença é que para quem não é Mahatma, uh, também ao mesmo tempo é uma carga de karma, enquanto que para os Mahatmas é apenas descarga. That's right. They were the charging that is happening for others, okay? Yeah. Or for even for us, supposing we, there is some kind of charging going on for next life. For us, which is not, by the way, never, but if it charging process is invisible, it's invisible, it cannot be seen. How can you see some, how can you see the charge in behind a person who says, by God, I'm John, I'm Bolsonaro, I'm Trump, okay? How can you see the charging part? You don't know, you only know, you can see only what is visible to you, and that is discharge. That is discharge. É, o que ele está dizendo é que nós não podemos ver o que está sendo carregado. Quando a gente fala, eu sou Trump, eu sou Bolsonaro, eu sou quem quer que seja, e a carga que acontece é invisível. Você só consegue ver aquilo que está descarregando. Yeah. And not only you cannot see the charging process. How can you see the charging process of the one who believes I'm this body? You cannot see that. Oh, the Gnani says it. The Gnani says that every time you say I'm this body, your Bhavman becomes active. You know, that, you know charge mind it becomes active because you, this body doesn't say, call me Tony, address me as Tony. The body doesn't say that, you know, Tony is just a label. Who is saying I am Tony and this is my body? Who is saying that? And that's, that is the pratishta. That is the installation of life in something that is already dying. You know, it is, it is happening here. Tony is now 
a senior gentleman and later on 10 years later he'll be even more senior looking you know but you know this is all setting setting They're like the sun setting you know this is like the late afternoon early evening that sort of stuff in life you know é, então ele está dizendo que o corpo ele próprio não fala que ele que ele é o Tony por exemplo quem fica afirmando que o corpo é o Tony é essa essa mente né o pratistis e porém o que realmente ocorre depois que você você vai passa pelo pelo cerimonial é que você, tudo que está acontecendo, na verdade, é uma descarga. Você já não mais chama você de eu sou o Tony, eu sou o Denis. Você sabe que o corpo não é isso e que ele mostrou que Tony daqui a 10 anos vai continuar sendo apenas um pouco mais, mais velho, mas continua descarregando. Ah... Uh... And the other, she says, it is impossible to really find out Bhav. You understand? No, Bhav. Also, Michele is Bhav. Also, Margarida is Bhav. You see? Então, você, is... e quando você fala, eu sou Michele, eu sou Margarida, isso é Bhav. Bhav means that which will throw you into next life, that e que se Bal, yeah. <laughs> é isso que vai te jogar para a próxima vida. Yeah. The other she says, if you could see, if is this bow, if somebody could catch this bow, this intention, they would put a seal on it so that you know it does not create another body. But it is not possible. Few giants understand them, but. É, os jainistas but... entendem que, que se você conseguisse enxergar essa intenção que você está pondo, você certamente selaria isso para não te jogar para a próxima vida. And they understand charge, but you know, then they confuse by saying that it is happening to Amapura. <risos> é. Eles são confusos porque eles acham que está ocorrendo para Amapura aquilo. So they confuse it. Amapura is Amapura. Amapura has no bow. This is a very, very special. Amapura has no intent. So everybody who talks about Amapura, oh, I want to do something good for the world. I want to save lives. I want to do that. You know, that one doesn't understand Amapura. He does has he is talking about the doer Amapura, not the <laughs> pure knower Amapura. You understand? Not the pure knower Amapura. Hmm. É quando você fica desejando fazer bem ao mundo e outras coisas boas, na verdade, está aí a, a uma pura, vamos chamar de fazedora, né? Porque a uma pura realmente não tem nenhum desses tipos de intenções e desejos. Ela é livre disso. Yeah, but uh, it doesn't mean that you should not. Uh want that the world becomes a better world for everyone. Is that right? Absolutely. You know, um, we, you know this, we, they have the intentions. We, they say that by, by uh, doing something good for the world, you will attain moksha, and that's not going to happen. Ah, então eles dizem que você fazendo alguma coisa boa para o mundo, que você vai alcançar moksha. E isso não, não é verdade. Sim. Eles dizem que eles vão ter uma vida melhor, eles vão ter todos os corpos confortos, etc. Mas eles não podem ser libertados. A liberação só acontece quando eles encontram someone with words like this that we have been uh, sharing in the last uh, almost two hours now, right? You know, these words, this understanding, how are they going to get this understanding? É, então, isto não ocorre quando você tem esse tipo de intenção de fazer o bem, etc, etc, que quando muito pode acarretar para você uma vida melhor, mais confortável, 
mas, na verdade, você precisa é quando você conhece e chega no Dada, é que aí sim você tem condições de se liberar. Porque yeah. apenas fazendo o bem, não. Yeah. Dada Shri says, you cannot catch this gnan. You cannot catch this gnan. Gnan means, who am I? I am a pura gnan. Você não consegue Bauma. pegar este, este yeah. gnan da alma pura. Yeah, you, you cannot understand bow without becoming alma pura, being alma pura, which is our você... case. You know, we are understanding bow now, right? I mean, we é, understand... Você não consegue entender o que é bow se você não é uma alma pura. E agora nós é que estamos, nós estamos conseguindo entender bow porque nós estamos nesse estado. In the other, she says, this is so deep and secret. This Isso thing é tão is... profundo e secreto. Yeah. That if you keep on saying 100,000 times that this is deep and secret, secret, all right? Even then, you have not come to the bottom of the secret. <laughs> e mesmo que você repita 100 mil vezes que isto é, é um segredo e... E isso não vai levar você ao fundo do que é isto. We understand bow because we are free from bow. We are above the view of the, the intention and we are above desires, you see. Ele está dizendo que a gente só consegue enxergar o bow e essas intenções, porque nós estamos acima disso. Aí nós conseguimos enxergar. We also understand that this body, Mangaltas, is not doing bow. It is the one who believes I am. This body is making the intentions. You see? É quem acredita que é, isso é... Eu sou este corpo que fica fazendo essas intenções, porque eu mando ao gato, não, não tem isto. I will get a nice guitar, I will practice uh, singing with the guitar, you know, all of these are intentions of Lárcio, you know, all right? Hmm? Yeah. Uh, então, as intenções do Lárcio, uh -huh. por exemplo, de tocar guitarra e tudo mais, mas são desejos. Bow, and they are discharging bow. If it happens, wonderful, you know. If it happens, wonderful. But é, se é um bow de descarga e acontece, tudo bem. Desire, on the other hand, is like fire. E desejo, na outra, por outro lado, é como fogo. Desire will not let you sleep. O desejo não vai deixar você dormir. Until I get that guitar I want and until I play it that way I can't sleep. That is called desire. Whereas this one is intention. You understand? Então o desejo é aquilo que fica queimando dentro de você até você obter aquilo. E yeah. bal a intenção. Yes, Michelle. Mm -hmm. A gente fica se achando muito especial e o ego depois não deixa a gente dormir. She saying that we think we are very special and then the ego doesn't let us sleep. Is this what you're saying? <laughs> no, this we are very special is only only being used by Dada. <laughs> é, nós somos especiais apenas uh, pelo Dada. And I am a messenger of Dada for you, okay? Ele é o mensageiro do Dada para você. Yeah, and uh, Amapura does not need any compliments. Amapura and, não precisa de nenhum elogio. Or certificates. Ou certificados. Amapura is blissful, infinite bliss. A alma pura, ela é bem aventurança, bem é. aventurança. Zero desire, no desire. Zero desejo. <risos> See? 
just like you know so so you you're special yes you're very special but you're special inside yes, so you're very você é especial muito especial mas dentro inside outside you're Michelle you're you know your mother you know your or your your performing the roles you're allowing the dance to continue <laughs> surrender to the dance you see hmm? então fora você é a Michelle a mãe a dançarina né <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah outside you are o, o, an open book you want to learn more and more from everybody you accept everybody say yes to everybody inside é, você you, quer é um livro aberto que aprender de todo mundo dentro inside you're the lord there is nobody higher than you e dentro você é deus não tem nada maior que você yeah you're the blissful one you see yeah. <laughs> aqui tem boa boa, boa aventurança Should that not be one? Yes, uh, I will try and type up this whole exactness satsang because this is very beautiful. I think it was, uh, this happened in 1970, July, and in the tape record part was different, and then this question of Kaviraj was different, you see. Huh? Então ele vai... Ele vai digitar essa, essa satsang aí, porque foi muito especial. O Deu mostrou que em 1970 o gravador era diferente, o cabrito era diferente. Sim, yeah, é yes. especial, means <coughs> we are liberated, you see. And... Especial quer dizer nós somos liberados, <laughs> nós somos livres. E de esse espaço, nós temos... We are lifted out of all the pains and the worries of the world, you know. All the pains and the worries of the world are gone. E com isso, nós fomos uh, erguidos de toda a dor, uh, pains, and what else? And worries, worries. Ah, e preocupação. And anxiety, stress, Sim. yes. Ansiedade, stress. Hmm? Yeah, it's, we all... This uh, we've gone through this satsang before, you know, so many times in different ways. But somehow, Dada's direct words have phenomenal energies, you know. É, nós and... fomos para esses satsangs diversas vezes, mas aqui as palavras de Dada têm uma energia muito forte. Should that move on? Yeah, it's time. For the... To say good night, good <laughs> night, yeah. Huh? Say wonderful, th Glória Dennis. Deus. Thank you so much, Dennis and Shirley and Welcome. everyone. Yeah, right. It's uh, uh, it, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's lovely. It was really lovely, you know. Ele gostou it, muito. Foi realmente maravilhoso. Yeah, but and it was good to thank uh, you. Good to be with all of you. Hmm? Muito bom estar com todos vocês. Jai Sachidana. Jai Sachidana. Jai Geraldo, Marlusi, Dan, uh, some Elena, yes, Vera, Amelia, Nidi. Jai Sachidana. Jai Tony, yes, Marlene, Ruho Berom, yes. Jai Sachidana, Suda. Yeah, should should that my Bhagwan. Jai Sachidana to the lady in Bahia. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, and Danilo yeah. there too in Bahia territory, you know. And Saveni, yes, uh -huh. everyone. Hmm? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, Danilo, do you want to say something? Danilo? Danilo, you want to say anything? Danilo, you want to say anything? Anything in Gujarati? Yes, yes, we all being all together. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yes.